a lot of Japanese tier lists put ZSS in top three. So, I mean, Kuro's got to be one of those showcases about how good that character is. So let's yeah. see how this goes down. Maybe people, like, when she, like, the game first came out and they saw that she can't just do down throw up there and kill, like, with boost kick insanely early, that they, she's just not as good. But I I think she's still amazing in this game. Yeah, for sure. Granted, I think she's very hard to play. I think you have to pretty much be committed to playing CSS. But when you play her on point, you'll be rewarded very nicely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kuro's spacing right now, pretty much immaculate. Jesus. He's already out of here. C Sharp hasn't had any opportunity to mount any pressure whatsoever. Yeah. I mean, I think a lot of the problem is that Kuro is not letting C Sharp breathe. So every time C Sharp has an opportunity, either oh my oh god, my god. <laughs> he's gone. Every time Kuro oh uh, pressures on shield, he Look does it in a way where it's perfectly spaced. So as soon as C Sharp tries to make a decision, Kuro's already there with another option because ZSS is so quick. Yes. And then afterwards, uh, like either on the ledge, or oh my god. Wow, my man's. My it man's speed running. On C -sharp right I don't now. know what C Sharp was thinking <laughs> with that backslash at the end. He was just like, all right, I'll accept my fate. Maybe I'll take you with me. Kept up his positioning and be able to take some early stocks because of it. So for, for me, since Mars is uh, notably absent in this tournament, uh, I'm looking for Kuro to be the, the ZSS uh, represent, representation mm -hmm. in this, this S tier. You know? Maybe a lot of people are. This yeah. is his first US tournament, I believe. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, a lot of people are, like, watching to see how he does. I believe you are correct. Oh, Ooh, I like that. Yeah. I really like that drop-down uh, boost kick there to catch that, the stun from the down smash. Something else that's really impressive to me about Kuro is that he's not a zero-suit main from Smash 4. He played Pit and Fox. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, no. Bro, how on, many dude. nerf put... He, even, even on a trade. Yeah, even on the nerf trade, he's like, nah, I'm still going to hit this. Yeah, dang, dude. So C Sharp already on his last dot curled, nowhere close to dying. And uh, if if that platform wasn't there, I think he might have died. He, he, he would have been dead. dead. He's still dead. Already. Already? Um, so, uh, he shaved off five seconds from the first match. Wow. Um, so we out here speed running sets now, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. C Sharp, don't feel bad. This guy's a. Uh, he's a, a monster. Very, <laughs> he's a very strong player. He caught the double jump completely, so even with Joker's incredible recovery, he can come back. Mm -hmm. Arsene is about to be available soon, though. We'll have to see. Yeah. He's trying to bring this back around because if there's any time a comeback character in this game, it's definitely Joker. Yeah, really good drag downs as well from Zachary. Doing super good at racking up the percent even without Arsene. <laughs> he just dipped out of yeah. there. I like the choice of the uh, skull bash to the blast zone. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, me too. Oh, there it is. The dash attack with the Arsene assist. Only taking 43%. That's not too bad. And de Enki definitely showing, too, is that it wasn't a fluke that first game. Like, he oh. still has a bunch of tricks. Oh, but the dragon on up air on the platform. So strong. Leads out into the up smash. That's going to close it out. Yeah, Enki is in a really rough spot here. Arsene meter is still relatively full. And he's at a really rough spot on the ledge. Jump gets called out. And the Arsenal smash, one of the strongest moves in the game for sure. Yeah. Big combo. Oh, nice. Calling yeah. him out on the platform, getting so much percent. Zachary yep. utilizing this Arsenal to the fullest right now. Another opportunity. So many down airs landing here. He's really calling out these offensive habits from Inky. Punishing super hard. Not able to edge guard him as well. Zachary pretty much one hit away from getting this stock. Wow, the time on the neutral air catching the LB. But he's going to SD. I, I think he banked on that neutral air killing there. Yeah. Wasn't able to come back from that. Another big opportunity for, for Enki to actually try and bring this around. Ooh. Oh, but the up smash. That'll do it. Yeah, I wonder if we're going to see any of the uh, cargo up throw up bears on this stage with, like, the platform assist. Oh, my goodness. That spin dash into forward air. I, I really like that setup just because the spin dash basically carries them to the blast zone. Yeah. Just enough for the forward air to just kill at really early percent. Man, even with the power shield, he already had cross up his shield, couldn't even get a decent punish. And the forwarder just completely eating up that up B. It looked like he went perfectly on top of the up B to just avoid even trading with that move. Right. Now we have a last hit scenario situation. Oh, oh, he didn't go for anything. Just respects the Oh, space. he tried oh, to pivot, yeah. grab him out of the spin dash. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Oh, try to call Ken being a little aggressive. Not quite able to find anything. Oh, oh. my God. 
that OB is so easy to spike, but I thought Kim would just go for like the easy like spring edge guard. Yeah. He just immediately deleted that stock. What what a play from Runes there. Yeah, the entire venue's watching this match right now. Yeah. This could be the the biggest upset of the tournament if it happens. Yeah. We, we almost saw it with uh, Sam Sora versus Bing Gold. Let's see if Runes can make something happen here. Let's see. But uh, Kim taking this to uh, Town & City. I wonder if uh, he's trying to get like some up throw confirms off the platforms as well with Sonic. I, I know Runes can look for that as well with like his cargo throw. So uh, Kim's got to be a little bit careful. You got to be touched on this stock though. Might be getting a zero to death here. Oh. Yeah, this is a... Oh, yeah, he's yeah. gone. Kim did not let him even think about recovering to the stage. Not even getting touched on that stock at all. I think Almar holding a banana while throwing like Pikmin at you is so strong. Mm -hmm. Wow, he just caught it out of the air. <laughs> that was a really good catch from Shukong. Yo, he just called. Wow. He just called out legit holding shield the entire time. He didn't know what to do there. Retain neutral. A lot of people when a Pikmin's on them, they kind of start to panic and yeah. then try to go for something. But looks like he's still trying to keep his time with this uh, match Ooh. so far. Ooh, but great call out on the monkey flip actually. Yeah. Uh, but now he has it in the rotation. Ooh, calls out the jump with the forward air. Now he has control of the banana as well. And the perfect lineup with the purple guaranteed kill there. Yeah, and the movement options, but still like the damage output, not quite the best on Diddy this time around. So. Man, he took so much percent from the white Pikmin. And there's a down smash from the spot dodge. Oh my goodness. All that happened just from him getting tagged by the, the white Pikmin while being off stage. Right. Oh, just trying to make something happen here. But again, he's got to be so careful of the purple. I was to say it. Monique. <laughs> just jumps right over the banana toss, catches yep. the jump. Get that booty over there. Man, really great DI coming out from Zach Ray. Uh, you, you gotta, whoa, what are we? Bro, that whole stock was amazing up until that. What the hell? <laughs> Look as why, brother. That was a, the heck if I ever seen it. <laughs> Man, that's... But I mean, right now, he's doing a really good job of recovering. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I can definitely be wrong, right? And I, I think the Terry meta has been developing. I think Crack Shoot is very, very good at recovering. Even Power Dunk as well, you can get really creative when recovering with the character. Right now, Zach Ray slowly but surely kind of running away with this, but the dash attack is going to take Zach Ray off the top, and guess what time it is? It's go time for right, 104%. Yeah, I mean, this is still very much doable, but the thing is you can't really count on Zach Ray to get kind of antsy, and you know what I'm saying? Like He's going to play a patient because he has no reason not to. Right. Somebody like that, Supreme Lead, he's not one to let it go, and Locust, unfortunately, that deficit a little too much to overcome. Zachary takes the first game. Today? Yeah, isn't 128 like contested tomorrow? All of them? Yeah, it? all like, of them. Like, the tournament concludes tomorrow, too, as well. Correct. Like, these players are going to be in for the long haul. Yep. <laughs> right. Good thing we're not playing. You know <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I could play and still not have to worry because I wouldn't make it that far. And unfortunately, <laughs> Locust unable to make it back to the stage. That down there from Zachary finding his mark doing his damage. My man's already at 156. What happened? Yeah, the only thing that can really help Zachary here, I right feel, is like if he could just throw him off stage and just keep him off. Like, that's really was going to be the thing to save him from having to go to game three. But I don't think Locust has any intention of being denied. This man is hungry on oh. the proud. Oh, my God. The gyro assist, though. Oh, hold on, oh, Korean. No jump, no hold on, jump. Korean. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, hate to see it. Locust was so close. What I say? The, I said get him off stage. The Prophet. I said, get him on stage, he ain't coming back. Zachary said, you're damn right. With, with Ness, you, it, 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 it's his name of the game. It's his Achilles heel. Off stage is so good, but so bad at times. Yeah, the turnip is going to play a big part in that. And Umeki is so oh, good at these speaking turnip, of turnip Speaking of turnips, eat dude. your vegetables. Where are you going? Oh, he missed it. But it's okay. I think oh. he sniped it. I'm 90% so sure he sniped it. I thought he was just going to go for the hit. No, so, no, no. So he stopped the, um, the, PK the distance of the PK Thunder. Okay. Hoobray just talking right back to him, boy. We're scrapping. 30. 20 something seconds, two stocks gone already, slut. Yeah, now mech has got him at disadvantage. That's gonna be a turn up into the fair. I don't think he has jump either. He does not back Good air. high recovery. Yep. Yeah, he's gotta do it again though. Oh, he went too low. That's way too Sniped low. Sniped him. Goodbye. Goodbye. Guys, if you did not know, if you put anything in front of Ness as he is trying to recover, the distance on that PK rocket is considerably less. He's chilling. Lubre in the corner. How's he gonna get out? He gets the nair. Umeki on the ledge. Up smash, not gonna hit, back air. Oh, he air dodged into the blast zone! What is he Wait, trying to do? That it? was crazy. Love Maybe it. he expected that, you know, the, the PK Thunder tail that caught him was gonna send him the opposite direction. Yeah. Oh. Slapped! Yeah, he was, maybe Lubri was expecting like a turn up or something like that. He was like, oh, I could probably live one hit here, but lubri has gotta be careful with some of these. Right there, he almost hit himself right off the stage. Speaking of hitting off stage, 
Another forward air. Uh, second least on life for Lombre. Can he make it count? Oh, he's off stage. <gasps> Beautiful air doesn't make it back, but Cat's caught by the neutral air. That's gonna be it. Tear dodge in the blast zone again. Yeah, he didn't. He did actually didn't get the right throw you can there, if I'm not yeah. mistaken. He was looking for the medium. He ended up getting the light. Ooh, that up smash gonna do it. Yo-Yo Charge just so strong at catching his normal get-up timings. No, and the charge is actually so good because you can wait until you start hearing the first couple of hits. It's like, oh, cool, I got you. I'm gonna let it go. Yeah. Where are you going? Ooh. Nowhere. Dunk City, goodbye. And so far, Nito's been doing a great job of not getting hit by that in that situation. But Gak was just all over it. He committed to it that time, basically said, I'm getting this no matter what. I don't know, this is just a matchup he, he, he's very comfortable in now, apparently. I guess so. Yeah. I mean, it's not looking too hot right now. I mean, this is the same thing we kind of saw in game two. Yeah. But uh, it's, it's like, these guys are just trading advantage and disadvantage so much. But the thing is that Gax is just getting so much more off of his exchanges. This is what legends are made of, Slep. Can Nito bring this all the way back yet again? Oh, Can no, he find his inner done. Daigo? He is not getting carried by the PK Thunder tail. Wow. Gets the bigger punish off of it and able to increase the damage. Now, the deficit between these two is very minuscule. But we'll see. What? What? The Force Palm what? from <laughs> close range is switching up on Tweak B and Shield. That's something you can't forget about at times. And with Aura activated, that'll take care of him right there at that position. Tweak was not ready for that. Not even, not even you were. I wasn't even ready, man. That happened so fast. It did. It, it didn't even do like the, you know, the zoom in at cinematic or no, anything no, like no. that. It's just like, boom. Not going to get anything out of it, but still gets his repositioning. And then dash attack two. Oh, man. The movement <laughs> and the force palm. Another one. Two for two here. Going to take out that first stock again on this game, too. Back throw. Stage control here. Either a back air or a down air might do it in place. Okay. Yeah, now Zeus mixing up his recoveries even more. Now that he's at a high percent, like, so one edge guard will probably be death. Oh! Force, or excuse me, the Aura Sphere that time. Tweak not ready for it, thinking, okay, what's the mix up on the extreme seat this time around? It's like, nope, I'm gonna throw out my projectile, you're gonna be dead. What Tweak's gonna do, he's got an Arsen available very soon. Yeah, 133. Tweak is not wasting time, but the uh, unfortunately, <laughs> the back air won't be there, and Sue will rob this man of that opportunity here. I think he yeah. lost his stock at like 53, 63%. Yeah. Oh, just meets him in the air with another back air. Is he gonna close out the stock? He does not. Now he's stuck in a less trap situation. Tries to go for a forward smash. Not able to find it. What's the option? Just goes for a dare out of shield. Nice. Where's your charge? Tweak trying to come in with the back air. Once again, <laughs> each and every time, Sue is there with a back air, a force palm, or an Uras Spear. Dude, that sucks. I think that traded with like up air one or yeah. something like that. So that just, <laughs> that's terrible. 112% already on Sue. I'm just looking for a down tilt. Yep, into a dash attack. Oh, found the corner DI. Still not going to be able to lose his stock quite yet. Nice, and he tosses the bike at the prime, the prime opportunity when he sees Suland. He knows he's been going. The one thing about Lucario, the, one of his shortcomings too, Japan is such a big country that it's supposed <gasps> to regions, but he waits on the landing for the waft. He said, this is a big stage for me. And, uh, <laughs> unfortunately, you will fall into this. Up there, and this con percent continues on, man. Oh, man, back here, takes him off stage. Nice Wario landing. He t I like the toss up too because he knows he wants to force. Uh, the one thing Sue would be looking for as a recovery option is a jump one. And unfortunately for Tweak, he will pick the option when he does get hit by the Aura Sphere going for the neutral recovery. Man, it's just so difficult because you see how Lucario is so floaty in the air, but Wario is just so fast when he fast falls and rises. Mm -hmm. So it's hard for him to keep him up in the air. So he has to really pick his battles when he decides to go for an air for air option because Wario could easily get whiffed and then. Yeah, he's definitely going to try to get rid of this first stock and then just cheese him out on the last one. Yeah. I, I can just feel it right now. And he has to too, right? With the Waft being such a big advantage tool to have over his opponent. Yeah. The, the only... Okay. All of a sudden, things are starting to get a little bit hairy here. And oh. they are very dicey. And Sue taking it over Tweak on that last stock deep off the stage. Okay. Gets another trade. Oh, he, I didn't even know the C4 was there, but I mean, he planted another C4 right back at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then he might get hit by the grenade explosion instead. So this kind of uh, gives him a little extra, especially because of uh, Snake's uh, mm -hmm. different options on the ground. He had some sort of so forced out that some sort of wanted to go for a down air and immediately Shogun parried it to the up tilt, knowing that some sort of had already reached that percent. All right, All right high recovery, pretty good option. He's not going to go for a oh, uh, sorry, B reverse landing to probably switch up to C4 because he knows it's already penalized at the ledge. Alrighty, what are we going to see here? A C4, an up tilt. No C4, it's at the ledge. 
And he knows, but he mixed up Samsora. He told him I only let it go just so I can hit you on the way back down. Look at Samsora's face right now. He's just That's saying, like, he's like, I am so done with this right now. <laughs> like, Why I do, do you... not want to deal with this, bro. <laughs> what? Man, his tweet was on point. He knows what it means to fight a Japanese snake. <laughs> he does not look happy. All right, but here we go. Let's see. No wonder, Game he, two. No wonder he made a list of 40 characters he doesn't want a money match against. Yeah. There's, a new, there's a new dawn. It's a new day. It's a new game. Let's see if Sensor can bring this back around. Yeah, I just love the micro spacing. Like, you saw a little bit earlier, he did, like, uh, he blew out the grenade, then did, like, an instant turnaround, and then dash attack. Like, tripped up transfer so much. But there we go. Going to get an up tilt. Close out the stock. Shogun is looking a little untouchable at the moment. Yeah. Kojima tossing in his sleep right now. <laughs> Yo, weak back here? <laughs> oh, Ooh! excuse you for being <laughs> at the platform. Shogun knows what it means to have all these mix-ups on Samsora. It's like, how dare you get grabbed by me? How <laughs> that, you, you will now suffer <laughs> eternal pain because of it. I cannot even comprehend where the C4 is being placed. <laughs> I don't even know where it is half the time. All right, here we go. Down throw, up tilt. Up tilt, that'll do it. Yep. Even that got the two pummels that he needed to. Yeah. Very nice so far, though. Samsora very consistent, getting the Peach Bomber to negate the Nikita, get through. And finally, Samsora with, I think, the first lead he's had this entire set. Uh, sorry, set, yeah. It doesn't even feel like a set, too, right? It yeah. feels like just the game with how fast the Shogun's been moving those, those grenades. All right, let's see. Okay, another grenade explosion. And then Nikita, man, just keeping Samsora at bay right now. And the wave bounce grenade. Oh, so and the four to finish him off. Shogun now with a lead, 84%. Did you see that, though? Four to one, wait for him to do something else, and then just four to him on the other side. That was so smart. Good cross up. You want to go for the jab? Wow. Up wow. From the Did you see that? Did you see that? Dare forced the trip. <laughs> into a throw, oh down throw, God. up tilt. He's next level. I didn't know Dare even did that. Did really? you know that, Vance? I did not know that. I did not know that either. Audience, did you know that? Let us know in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> not going to get hit by the explosion. Here we go. Shogun looking up. He parried his own grenade, dude. Did you see that? He parried his own grenade. <laughs> hey, man, there's a reason why he's put Samsora at game five. Yeah. That's all I got to say. But still, Samsora's decent sized lead. Let's see if Shogun can try to get the stock here. C4 available. Gets around it. But not yeah. around that. All of a sudden, Shogun brought it all the way back. And it was the what, the fact that even though Sensora was going to have to go around the C4, it's the landing that he picked, too. Oh, he's good. He's good. Yeah. I like that he goes for the pummel in the percent. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's actually really nice. He went for a tech chase oh, scenario. Oh, no, but he caught him on the starting frames of the back air. And back air. And that's going to run out, though. And <laughs> he still has the Pikmin. He parried the actual hit of the backslash too, and he reads the jump from the disadvantage. Nico's still alive at 152. Can he make it back? But unfortunately, Nico only had the up B to come down from. Sorry, up from. Wow. Smash R. He might. Yeah, I was going to say, if anything, he's going to switch off immediately. Down throw into the fair. And the thing here is if. if oh, oh, no. The roll from the ledge. I do like it. D is trying to keep the space in between him and Zachary. He knows Mario grabs are not where I want to be with. The up B is one of Link's fastest grounded options there coming up frame seven with the forward tilt to finish it off before he even grabs the ledge. T with the first lead. Yeah, just the timing on that forward tilt. Very brave of T to go for that because he could have been the sitting duck. Yeah, we'll see. Directional air dodge back. He's able to make it back though. Oh, the pressure oh, the is pressure. on at the lawn too. That guy's just standing there. He's scared, man. He could go for four tilt. I was going to say that. It was usually one of those options you could see because it does catch Mario at that up B. Nice. Immediately, usually Boomerang Fair is one of the Link's good follow-ups out of Boomerang, and T was looking for it. Oh, trying to hit him with the reverse hit of the up B, but unfortunately will get scooped up from the down tilt into the up air. Yeah. Good nair to trade a uh, nearly whiffy fireball on the up smash. Back that was unfortunate. We'll the stretcher comes in. Nice, he goes for the reverse hit. He spaced himself so he wasn't going to get punished, but unfortunately, Sakura wasn't even there for the punish, and T just fell out. Yeah. That's just going to be an SD. I, I mean, he was at a, it might as well SD at a high percent than at a very low percent. So True. Definitely works out for him. Bomb combo? <laughs> Usually for... He's looking for it. <laughs> yeah, for Zachary. But I think what I want him to see if Link can actually pull off the bomb fair loose. Link is quite the heavyweight. He's going to go for the bomb recovery. Yep, very nice. And if you guys are wondering how you guys can pull that off, you have to Z drop the bomb the minute the bomb actually reaches around Link's chest area. Z drop it, then explode it. 
Oh, so close. Oh, and he oh. lets go of the shield at the wrong time. Okay, the upper not quite going to work out that time. He's just looking for something that fair too. Up, yeah, oh, he did out of shield. It. Not enough just yet. Oh, the bomb. Drop oh, down there. there. Yeah. And that's enough. That's enough to do it. Over there. It's, it's possible because uh, I've seen people use it for edge guarding all the time. Just kind of misexecuted, it looked like. There we go. Four till finally be able to take that stock. Yeah, it's like every time he like throws a boomerang, he, he's so good at hit confirming or then realizing it's not going to hit and then just tries to cover like a backer behind him instead. Oh, and Zachary at the platform to meet him for the up air. Yeah, that was nice. Yeah, now that he's really behind, he has the one that has to try to force the tempo of the match. Great tech, too. Mm -hmm. Not enough, though, from Zachary to go for that much. Good parry, but he faces the wrong direction afterwards. Yeah. It's just in general, I feel like Link's a difficult character to try and set the pace of the match with. So it's really working out in Zachary's favor that he's utilizing Joker to be able to keep oh. up this well. Yeah. Oh, but that one will be a tough trade for T, and Zachary with the first game on the board. Finally on the board there, yeah. If Zachary misses his offense, T usually defensively gets a big turnaround and then is able to push up the advantage after that bomb. Maybe. No, he's no, a little too low. Time. He's yeah. a little too low. Okay. Not enough time. Stall Joker right there for a second. Back in the nair. Oh, spin Good attack goes the other side. And it's the way, it usually will send your opponent the opposite direction depending on how you get crossed up over it. But the up tilt will take care of it. T on 69% here. Two stocks to two. Arsen is available. I mean, T is not afraid if Arsen is available. He oh, just, no. He still goes in. <laughs> it's, it's, it's Link's damage. Yeah. His overall damage and his ability to kind of just stop Arsen from recovery, too. You do only get invincibility from Wings of Rebellion for the first 24 frames. And Link's Nair does last quite a while. But coming in for a second time, that's going to give T a grab and the opportunity to put him off the stage. We can have down air, not enough, but T is still not able to recover with the bomb, but he, man, he corrects me. Yeah. He corrects me. <laughs> it's a really good mix against your opponent, especially if you're trying to go for a full hop forward air. I'm going to smash out of the shield here, especially when he saw Zachary cross him up like that. T now slapping his, pretty much his lap, he's feeling it, dude. He doesn't want to go down yet. Oh, man, he's going in all of a sudden. Oh, oh no. <laughs> he tried to go for a big read right there, try to push himself in a good position. Nice. Oh, he just rolls behind. Okay. Mm -hmm. there it was go. good, too, because he doesn't want to let go or go for an out-of-shield option because he doesn't want to get called out. Back air. Link is right. heavy. T-Stop. Mm, tech! And he tech. gets the recovery still. I thought that was going to be too much knockback, but he actually did it. Oh, needs some air to oh, air. Oh, and he oh, and he rushed it on it. the second floor smash, and T <laughs> brings it back. All the way from the depths, T with the pop-off, but the still respectful look at Zachary. Ah, uh, you hate to see it, but you know what? There can only be one winner per match, so yeah. that just happened to be T that time. Yeah, no normally you don't want to see a like Duck Hunt just jumping in on people like that because he just doesn't have like the best aerials for that. So uh, yeah, rido has got to be real careful in that situation. The flight's right. not scared to go the trigger on the F-Stash, but there it is, the can taking another stock. Yep. Ooh. Yeah, Light is just chilling with the uh, the gun right now. Not really trying to run into all these projectiles from right. right so, but oh. Ooh. Yeah, you gotta be careful with that cannon. It is around frame one. Oh. oh my goodness, the clay pigeon to the back area. You gotta be ready for those follow-ups from right so. That's right. Nice, that's a good trade for Lybo. Oh, man, you gotta watch that can though. He's trying to uh, brute force his way in on right so. Uh, and and again. <laughs> Not the strategy you want to go for. Right. Especially when he has that can right in front of him. Oh, oh no I up smash that after it. that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man, Light's yeah. playing so careful right now. He's not trying to do any risky jumps. He's yeah. blown up by anything right now. Yeah, dude. Oh. Oh, he got crossed up. Oh, my God. <laughs> Rolled right into it. Oh, no, not quite. He got past it. This is Ted. Super oh. important game two right now. That Forgot not going to kill. Forgot about the gun. Oh, oh my God. For a second, I thought maybe that was Smash connected. Dude, that was an insane whiff punish. From yeah, that right it really side. was. He was like spaced right outside of it. Yeah, Lice, again, just playing around the can really well, especially when he has a, a lead like this. Right. Ooh, held down slightly to get the Ooh. hit of the up B, and we're still living. Still living. Ooh. Oh! Did he get extended hitbox from his dare from yeah, hitting the can? And I feel like I saw an unteckable flash, but I don't know if that was my imagination. One way or the other. That was an insane play from, yeah. from Rido. Really good edge guarding. Wow. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Rido almost weathered the storm, but the can. Okay, these are some uh, rough trades right now for Rido. He's trying to get this stock, but light. In position to take his first. Oh, hey. there you go. Great catch, yeah. Nice. Catching him coming down. Light can't reach the ground. Oh man, he's trying to, again, he's trying to force his way in because he's behind right now, but just finding uh, himself ready into every oh, projectile. Wow. He baited out the like the entirety of that 
Air dodge. Oh my this gosh. is so much this is so much pressure here from the projectiles. Again, he's using the can to force light to drift exactly where he wants him. And before he can even touch the ground, he has the up air right for him. Two stocks taken. And that was just pretty much a whirlwind of momentum for right. So, But again, 122 to 78 now. Not not uh, out of the realm of possibility. This could be a oh first stock. Oh my effect, god. No. I think... <laughs> I think Light uh, got caught in his initial dash, and you can't cancel your initial dash with shield in this game. So right. if you get caught doing that, you just get hit by a lot of things. By whatever, yeah. yeah. Followed up right by a drag down combo into the smash attack, and that's not what you want. That's also, he doesn't want that back air to connect the grab. I mean, it did get buffed, but it's still not the greatest grab in the game. I mean, it's telegraphed, it's slow, but guess what isn't slow? The up smash coming out after the bell, cleaning out that stock. T keeping the percents extremely close. During that whole time he's hitting him when the R sends up, he's draining meter as well. Right, right. Okay, well up smash out of shield, and that's gonna take the first stock for T. Will MK Leo be able to get a revenge kill or is T gonna be able to get some extra credit? T it covered the uh, the trajectory of the grapple with a strawberry and a falling down air. Oh wow, what a trade for T, the forward smash and the nair collide, but of course uh, T gonna come out on top with that. Whoa, that hydrant was looking dangerous. Okay, T's gonna have to get off the ledge. Oh, okay, double Whoa! chip. Oh, he <laughs> missed it! He was so close to getting the clip. Oh, man, the, you, you hate to see it, but T is still in this game. That's right. That's right, MK Leo is still fishing. Drag down, up air. He's not gonna find it. F smash connects, and that's gonna be one game for T. T is on the board. In there. T getting another forward smash, knowing exactly where Leo wants to land and reset. And again with the bell. No, 180 and counting for sure. I thought he was still on his first backer. stock. Yeah. Well, the trampoline messed up the grab. Wow, that's so smart coming out from T. And that, the trampoline out of shield is so good, right? <laughs> okay, this back air. Not what? gonna do it. Not from center stage. Not without arson. <laughs> what is this DI coming out from <laughs> T? He's still alive. 193 percent on oh, the pack. Aha is approaching a point where. It, just the side B is going to take the stock. I, I know, right at this point. Is T going to take out another stock before going? Okay, you're no, down. No, no, down no, throw. Down. Back throw. Back throw. What? Back throw. Back, back throw. How? Hey. Why Why were you even DIing that? That's what I want to know. Like, that's crazy that he was able to do that. And T is still alive. 225%. I think this man has <laughs> owned, like, earned the medal for, like, longest surviving stock at Congo Saga. I mean, 100%. We're, we're approaching three minutes. It took. It took two minutes and 50 seconds to take that stock, and Jeez. it was a two-frame down air <laughs> at 250-plus percent. Bringing this game back into his favor, and, I mean, maybe this is game four Leo actually coming out now. Wow! How did, did Leo MK know? Leo know? How did, did Leo know? <laughs> How did Leo know? Bro, he, he, bounced the, he bounced the bell off the backboard, but the orange snipe off stage. All right, oh. so T still with the stock lead, still with the control in this game number four against Leo. He shield pokes, and he drifts back in, and he starts to get the combos. Okay, no double jump here on the buzz, and just like that, the buzz forced to use the up B early, and T with the reactions, hitting him with the nair, and take that first stop. Yo, send that boomerang back, and let's have a little bit of extra damage with auto reticle, so you can check out how T made it this far. But, yeah, land that bear. What a call out from T. Just straight up called out that double jump and killed that man at 107% T fly, like, damn. Yeah. Look at all this pressure coming out from T, just full control. And now the Buzz is actually in a situation where he has to come into TT. Obviously has projectiles being Breath of the Wild Link. Mm -hmm. So he's going to have a lot of things to kind of zone the Buzz out. But man, he's still getting pretty aggressive with these dash grabs, though. Yeah, especially at the ledge, you know, the Buzz is going to feel really confident and patient uh, because he knows that as soon wow. as as soon as soon T touches the shield, we're going to see the Nair come out. Okay, okay, like, the instantly. Buzz is kind of getting bibbity bop right now. <laughs> like, Three socks to one. Yeah. <laughs> He's killed him at around 100, like, twice in a row. Like, the Buzz can't get in, bro. Like, <laughs> This is, okay, finally the backer, but he's living. Can the Buzz get the Nair to finish him off? No oh, way. Oh, the reverse. No way. The three. Damn. Oh. Damn, you just got sauced. Oh, man. Not like that. Not in front of oh. everyone. Yo, wait. <laughs> who you trying to edge guard, though? You trying to edge guard me? Nah, nah, nah. You're you going to get three stocked right here. Hold that. Not this hero. Going to see the bomb recovery. Up smash. Hero spin. What? Yeah. Right out of shield. That's uh, pretty much Link's fastest out of shield option, to my knowledge. Um, you don't have and to go the flashiest. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. And going to get himself back in the game. He's got a full tank of rage pretty much on T. The buzz is in <laughs> well in kill percent. I love how T just full hop and then fast ball there. He's like, yo, I know your hitbox is trash. It's going to pop out of the shield. I'm going to shield poke you. This is going to happen. Of this air-to-air -air combat here, and I don't know if the buzz is going to have an answer. He's got to come up with one soon. 
Oh, roll behind is not the answer because T was ready, and that up tilt comforts both sides. He covers like dang front, that back and up, bro. That Nair took the whole squad out. He he took out two Pikmin and hit Olimar, man. Talk about value. Yo, I thought like Ganon was the evil one. What kind of <laughs> what kind of life body count is this Link racking up? <laughs> Wow, the purple Pikmin like got the buzz out of that really sticky situation. The up air beating out the forward air gets under him, but the nair prevailing here for T. Can he finish off the stalk on the ledge here? Oh wow, and another oh, roll that... gets caught and T popping off with the fist bump. All right, so now the buzz with the lead, racking up some damage as well. We'll see if T can just get this quick revenge stock, or is the buzz going to keep riding this momentum, getting this damage? I guess not. Yep, but not before taking 58%. He did only get hit a few times, but guess what? The damage output from Olimar is insane, yeah. as you can see. Fling out fares or forward tilts and catch, yeah. kind of like vanilla ledge trapping without setup. I very interesting. Feels like the T's using the bombs a little bit more for uh, positioning. He's for throwing it off stage to force uh, the buzz to go either high or to the ledge. And then he goes for the lead trap from that point. There's the Ooh, bomb explosion. He almost sniped him out of the air. Oh, pivot up tilt! Oh, the And just like that, wow.